Cisco's CCNA certification is not an entry level IT certification. So stop acting like it is, stop pretending like it is, and stop telling people that it is. Yes, I know this video is going to cause a ton of controversy and I've already gone through this on LinkedIn. I will put the link to that in the description below where I asked if you had the choice between choosing somebody with a Cisco CCNA certification or the CompTIA A plus certification, which person would you choose just based off the certification alone? And there was tons of comments. I think I've had over like 50 comments on that, over 9,000 views for that post. And of course it was mixed. There was a, a, a big mixture there. Majority of the people said that they wouldn't choose the person with the CCNA. And there's many reasons for that. I'm not discrediting the CCNA one bit. The CCNA is an extremely valid, important and amazing certification that you can get. But if somebody is coming to you and asking you, hey, what certification should I get if I'm looking to get into IT? I'm looking to get into an entry level job. What's the best certification? It's not the CCNA. It's an intermediate to advanced certification. So there's nothing about that that is friendly to new people who are looking to get into IT. It's a great certification to have, yes. It is only specifically geared towards Cisco networking. And as you probably already know, the world of IT is vast. It's huge and there's so much to be learned. 99% of the time, as an entry-level IT professional, you will never touch a Cisco switch. You will never touch the network that you will be working in. 99% of the time. And I could tell you from my personal experience, from entry-level to mid-level to senior-level positions that I've held, I was not allowed to touch the network. We had network administrators for a reason. That was their job, they handled that. And as the positions I was in as not a network administrator, didn't need to know anything about the networks. Now I did because I learned that on my own time and I did hold other positions where I did have to have some of the Cisco knowledge to configure a VLAN or configure a port on a switch. Very basic stuff, right? Stuff that really you could learn and obtain the knowledge from just by watching a YouTube video. And at the end of the day, when it all comes down to it, you don't even need a certification to work in IT, to get an entry level job. There have been plenty of people who have been hired with no certification, no degree, and no experience. Because as entry level positions are concerned, you will learn everything that you need to know getting into it. Right? They're going to teach you everything you need to know about entry-level IT. And having a Cisco CCNA, yeah, while it looks good, any other certification looks just as good. I assure you of that. And if you go and look out on Indeed.com or any other job site and search for CompTIA a certification, for instance, you're going to find thousands of jobs requiring you have that certification. And yeah, you're gonna find a ton of other jobs requesting the CCNA certification as well. Majority of the time, they're gonna be for positions that are more advanced than entry level, or it's going to be for an entry level networking position. And many times, you know, you can obtain these entry level jobs in networking, obtaining a CCNA, but I mean, those are few and far between. And I know I'm gonna get comments from people who are like, I, I did it, I was able to do it. Well, congratulations and good for you. Anything is possible in this field. Anything and everything. It's all about you. Like at the, at the end of the day, like again, like it's, it's you, the person behind the screen who's watching this video. If you have the aptitude, the personality, the enthusiasm that that specific job is looking for, you're gonna get hired doesn't matter what certification you have. It's an entry level position. Do you understand that? Like entry level position means you don't need experience. Like you don't need to have certifications. You don't need to have a degree because you learn everything on the job. So yeah, while you could get noticed maybe slightly more for having a CCNA, ultimately it doesn't matter. Who fucking cares that you have a CCNA? I don't care, I'm not gonna hire somebody just because they have a CCNA. It doesn't tell me anything about the knowledge that they have to do an entry level IT job. So you can just throw it out the window. I'm gonna hire somebody because I like them, because they have the enthusiasm, the, the, the thought process to do whatever it takes to do entry level things, you know, fix a printer, change somebody's password, all things that you learn on the job. 
right? So I'm not discrediting the CCNA by any means. I'm not telling you that it's a bad certification. I'm telling you that it's not an entry level certification, which leads to like people saying, well, I'm gonna choose somebody with a CCNA because it's a more advanced certification. It shows that they're capable of learning this material and, and passing an exam, right? Well, it's still at the end of the day, it doesn't show you that they have any knowledge, right? I would trust somebody more with the A plus certification because that certification shows you the fundamental knowledge of entry level IT. It's specifically designed for this. Like they developed the A plus with entry level IT jobs in mind. The CCNA, they didn't. So having this knowledge of the CCNA could be completely useless to you. And you might find that after somebody tells you to go out and get your CCNA, you just fucking hate networking. You're like, I don't want to touch a fucking network for the rest of my life. You don't like it. I completely understand. I, I, I That's cool. Go get something like an A plus or an MTA, Microsoft Technology Associate Certification, even an MCSA. The fundamental knowledge that you're going to learn from those types of certifications alone are going to better help you in an entry level job than a CCNA will ever help you in an entry level job. And people are going to say, well, getting an A plus is easier. Yeah, it's easier, right? It's many people say this all the time. It's an easier certification to obtain, but you know what? It opens up the door even further for you getting into IT. So if you are still looking to get your CCNA after you've obtained your A plus, go get your CCNA and advance your career in networking or advance your career wherever the hell it is that you're looking to go. It's not something that should be considered as entry level. It's not something that people should be saying, go get this for your first certification. And the reason I bring this haul up, the reason why this even exists right now, this whole video that I'm doing right now is because in one of the Facebook groups I'm part of, somebody posted a video that some other YouTuber did where he said, always get your CCNA for your first certification, never get a CompTIA certification. But at the end of the day, you don't have the required skills and experience and knowledge that somebody with an A plus would have. And I know, right, this is totally going to offend you that I'm saying this, and I'm so completely sorry, not really. There's no reason why somebody should be getting their CCNA as their first IT certification. Unless, I guess, if they really want to get a networking job, which, again, it's very rare that somebody as their first IT job gets any type of networking position. It happens, yes, everything can happen. And like I said, you don't even have to have an IT certification to get into IT. You don't even have to have a degree to work in IT. And many times you're gonna find you don't even have to have experience because it's all about you. Yes, you, the person behind the screen right now. If you have the ability to shine through in an interview, you can land a position. It's possible. There have been many people who have landed IT jobs with no certifications, no degrees, no experience, and hey, they're working in IT. And we should know, nobody is sponsoring me in this video. CompTIA has absolutely no part of this, Cisco no part of this, Microsoft no part of this, nobody else. I'm sponsoring this video. Zach from IT Career Questions is telling you what's up because I think it's a disservice to entry-level IT to tell people to get the CCNA. And I know you guys are gonna flame me in the comments and I'm gonna have many people supporting me in the comments, but I welcome each and every one of you to share your opinion. So don't just say, that's wrong, you're, you're wrong, you're an idiot, blah, 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 blah. Tell me why, tell us why, tell the community why. Because it's, it's silly to get people involved in something that's so advanced when they don't need it. They don't even need it. Unless they wanna get into networking, it's absolutely ridiculous to tell them to get a CCNA. And you should know this by now. You should understand this. You should understand where I'm coming from and sharing this, my thoughts, right? And sharing my opinion. You don't need it. And to people out there, again, saying, CompTIA certifications are useless. You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. You go out on any job site and search for CompTIA certifications and thousands of people, thousands of employers are looking for people who are CompTIA certified. And the knowledge that you learn, it's geared towards entry level, period. And it's easier to get. So why not introduce somebody to IT at a level that is better understandable to them then, you know, saying, go get your CCNA, which is honestly 
it's complex, right? That is a complex certification. And yes, anybody, I've said this before, I've said it a million freaking times, anybody can go out and study for a certification and pass the exam. Some people are amazing at taking tests. Some people are just amazing at retaining knowledge to go and pass these exams. It's great, wonderful, good for you. You still don't have the required experience, even sometimes the knowledge that it takes to do some of these jobs. Because as a new person to IT, experience is king. Experience far outweighs anything else as far as this field goes. Because what you're going to find, what you're going to learn is that every single IT job that you could potentially go to is so completely different from one another that every time you set foot into a new environment, they're going to teach you how they do things, what you need to know in their specific way. Now you're going to think when you learn some things about networking that every single organization has their network set up the same, right? Wrong. You're going to think that everybody has their Active Directory, for instance, set up the same wrong or group policy or sccm or whatever the case may be everybody does things differently and learning the knowledge on the job is what's going to help you the most so getting into entry-level it again don't need a certification don't need a degree don't need experience i know broken fucking record right you can get your foot in the door with anything Go get an ITIL certification. Go get your CompTIA ITF Plus certification. Go get a Security Plus certification. Hell, go get a Pentest Plus certification. Go get your EC Council's CEH certification. They're not sponsoring this. That's just ironic, right? But it's just going to help you get noticed, period. Any certification is going to help you get noticed. Again, goes back to, you know, people just say like, you know, obtaining the CCNA certification shows that you have this aptitude to learn this more advanced material. Well, sure, I respect that. I understand that. And as a matter of fact, there's plenty of other YouTubers out there and plenty of other people that I respect and admire. And Dwan Lightfoot is one of these people who tell people, get your CCNA. I respect his opinion. I understand where he's coming from. I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm just saying I think there's better options out there. And I'm not trying to start anything with him or anybody else. I'm just trying to say, I personally feel like telling people to do this, to go down that route, isn't necessary. It's not what people should be doing to get their foot in the door. I mean, again, going back, you don't need anything. Just go apply for any freaking entry-level IT job. I know, oh, they want experience, they want this, they want that. Well, at the end of the day, they're going to teach you everything anyway. I've said this. If I said it once, I said it twice, I've said it a thousand fucking times by now. I just want to help people get into IT. I want to help people and give them the best knowledge that they can possibly get to get their foot into the door. And once you get your foot in the door, from there you can decide where it is you want to go. Whether you want to get into security, whether you want to get in networking, system administration, doesn't matter. Like, get your foot in the door and figure out the rest from there. Obtaining something like a CompTIA certification, which again, by all accounts, is so much easier than any other certification out there. It's a check mark on a box that helps you get noticed. So, obtain that. Study for the CompTIA A plus certification in six weeks and go pass it. You're more than likely not going to study for the CCNA in six weeks and pass it. Uh, while some people can, like we've said, that's just not as likely. So, the point of this video is helping you, is sharing some knowledge, and is telling people to stop really being toxic to the new community of IT professionals because it, that's not the route to go, guys. That's really not. And again, you're going to tell me I'm wrong, you're a fucking idiot, and all these other things. Sorry for all the language. I'm very passionate about this because I want people to step foot into this field and have the best possible experience that they can. And while, again, I, I, I said this, you know, obtaining a CCA certification for your cert, first certification is great. It, it can be wonderful for you. It still doesn't show that you have anything it, other than a piece of paper, right? Like, that piece of paper. Anybody can obtain a piece of paper. I got a piece of paper right up there, right? Sorry, right, up, right, 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 up, right up there. Security Plus certification, just a piece of paper. It's me. It's it's, it's going to be me that, that that gets me the job because 
I have amazing, wonderful personality and I can talk to people and I can communicate my thought process to people and I can explain things to people that they understand, not using stupid tech terms 24-7. Actually, explain things to people in a way that they understand it and communicate with people in ways that they appreciate, right? There's, there's so many other barriers that you should be looking at to, uh, you know, to, to, to gain more expertise from than just obtaining certifications. You know, there, there's just a lot. So I encourage you guys to go out on LinkedIn, read this post, read all the comments that, you know, were left there. There's a lot of great uh, opinions that were shared there. Whether it's me telling you, Dwan Lightfoot, Network Chuck, IT Taster, or Bill Gates himself telling you, you know, this is the best route for you. Ultimately, like, we don't know. Like, we can't tell you for sure. Because every single employer out there is looking for something different. And just because you have one of these certifications doesn't mean that that's why you got the job. And I know people are going to be out there, well, like, I didn't get a job until I got the CCNA certification. I went through 17 job interviews, and it wasn't until I obtained my CCNA that I got my first job. Well, guess what? Maybe it was the 17 interviews that you went through before where you were crafting your interview experience. That's what helped you get the job. Not a piece of paper, right? Like, truth. And depending on your area, it, that's a huge part of picking the right certification. If you're looking in your area and you see that many jobs are requiring a CCNA, well, yeah, sure, maybe a CCNA could be right for you. If you see that it's all across the board, I'm still gonna say, go take your A+. And at the end of the day, I'm always going to tell you to go take your A+, for your first certification if you're looking to get into IT. The knowledge that you obtain from that, I think far outweighs the CCNA when it comes to entry-level IT work. That's very important that you understand what I just said. The A plus far outweighs whatever you will learn on the CCNA when it comes to entry level IT work. 99% of the time, you will never touch a network in an entry level IT position, unless it's a entry level networking position. I hope you understand this. I hope this gets through to your head because it's very important that you understand before you start flaming me in the comments. Again, I'm not trying to start any trouble with anybody. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm not trying to tell anybody that they're wrong. I'm not trying to tell anybody that they're right. I'm just trying to share knowledge that I think will help people break into this field in the best possible way, the easiest possible way, and ultimately help them lead to a successful IT career. Again, if you want your CCNA, go out and get it. Don't let me stop you. Don't let anybody stop you, but never tell somebody to get their CCNA for their first certification because I think there's a better option out there. Again, not telling you're wrong for telling somebody to get their CCNA for cer first certification. I just think there's better options because I think the other certifications help round out the knowledge a little bit better. And again, easier, uh, more obtainable. It still helps you get noticed because thousands of employers look for people with the CompTIA certifications. That's all I got for this video. I know I'm going to piss you off, or maybe I'm going to make you happy. Maybe I'm going to have tons of people agreeing with me. Either way, I'm just trying to help. And if you have something to share, leave it in the comments, but give an explanation for the love of everything in this world. Share your experience, share your knowledge with the community, because this channel primarily targets, affects, and reaches people who are brand new to IT. So that's it. You guys have something to say, you know what to do. That's all I got in today's video. As always, take it easy. Sorry for swearing.